welcome to the third video in the Ravelry series. In this video, we're going to talk specifically about your favorites, but I'm also going to um, give you a few more tips when searching for a pattern. It was tips that I didn't want to include in the first video because the first video is publicly available to entice people to join Patreon. So um, I'm giving a little bit more in this video. So we're going to start off in patterns. And again, I'm going to go for the advanced search like we did yesterday. And this time I want to look for a sweater. Winter is coming in South Africa and um, I like wearing merino sweaters in winter. So I look for a sweater. Now, the first thing that I didn't show yesterday that I want to show you today is your filters at the bottom or wherever your filter is the filters are not necessarily in the same order i want to go to the knitting needle size this is hook sizes let's go past that needle size i like working with a three a 3.25 a 3.5 3.75 four and i'll stretch it to a four and a half i don't necessarily enjoy working with a five millimeter that's not my favorite needle size now you've noticed that i've ticked all of them six sizes surely there won't be a pattern that will use all six of those you are absolutely right what happens is this how should these filters relate currently they are set to all so in other words patterns that will have a three millimeter or a 3.25 or a 3.5 etc they will be listed you can see that right now there are 106,000 matches if i go down let me just illustrate this to you and i say no i don't want all i want and so it must it must match all of those with other words in one pattern all of these should be used you will see that there are very little results there's four matches and that is probably due to the um the designer not marking the 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 pattern properly when it was published or there's a lot of different techniques in there okay so let's clear up everything and we start again from the from the beginning just to give you um, a recap i'm gonna go for clothing i'm gonna go for sweater and i want all types of sweaters now while i have this on the screen let me just tell you something um, you must keep in mind cultural differences in south africa if you mention to somebody a pullover we think of something that is worn by a man that is sleeveless okay that is not a pullover in european standards maybe for them a pullover is a closed jersey that you pull over your head and a cardigan is something that is open but i want to see do i want to see all now okay let's go for only pullovers i'm not very fond of cardigans so let's go for pullover jerseys you can immediately see what is um, given to me in the search results it's something that is closed in the front pulled over your head that's just for the um, south african people on on the on the video okay yes i want photos okay i love top down i don't like working in um panels i work like in top down and i like working in the round righty we've got that agent size it's for me it's an adult i'm not gonna set the gender um with ease you can choose whether there's positive ease or negative ease or no ease let me quickly explain that for those that don't know positive ease means that the um, garment will be a little bit loose fitting negative ease it will be tight fitting no ease it will just fit this for here you can this one here is positive ease um, uh let me quickly see if i can see one that's negative is let me just select them then you can see what they look like i'm in the wrong place now oh 
where was I? East. Let's set it to um, negative east. Then you will see on the result, you will get an idea of what it looks like. And my signal is a bit um, slow. Here you can see it's quite tight fitting. That's I like for summer garments, but not necessarily for winter. For winter, I prefer positive E so that I can wear something underneath. That's just for interest's sake. Okay. Um, we've got the size. We've got the, the, the top down thing. I just want to change the colors. I don't mind the yarn. <clears throat> I'm also not going to specify how many strands I want to work with. I'm quite willing to mix and match and use some stuff double stranded, but I want to use only one color. I'm not a big lover of color work. And again, I'm going to choose my needles. I'm going to say it could be three or a 3.25 or that or that or that. And I'm willing to go for a 4.5 and I want it all set to all. That is by default it's set on or okay you can also choose your rating you can choose the difficulty you can hunt for a specific designer if it's crochet you can choose between uk or us terminology and you can choose the language i can set the language here to english um, that will give me only English results, which is a good thing because sometimes you fall in love with something that's only available in Russian. That's quite difficult. Okay, so here we've got how many results do we have? 2,221, 47 pages. That's doable, especially if I'm tired. Now, let me warn you, Ravelry becomes a very deep rabbit hole. You will start off all innocently and pretty soon you will have a project queue longer than you can make in a lifetime you've been warned um, you do this on your own risk so this is what i do okay you will see that this one has got a little red heart to it that means that this one is already in my favorites i don't have to mark it again it is in my favorites it means that i have had a look at it sometime in the past and I liked it enough to put it in my favorite, so I will probably make it at some stage. Righty. So now, when I'm tired, I don't feel like knitting, I don't feel like crochet, maybe it's just before bed, I'm not in the mood to read anything that will require concentration or mind power. In times like those, I love browsing Ravelry like this, just to collect patterns that I might use sometime. Okay, so what am I going to do? Let me find one that I like and um, then I will tell you. Let me see what is here. This one is very nice and I'll tell you why. It's a plain vanilla pattern. It gives you the basics and when you have the basics, you can adapt this to do anything with it. You can use different stitch patterns if you want. So a basic pattern like this is very nice. Okay, so here's the next step. You see these three little dots if you click on the dots, you get a quick view of the pattern. This one is available from extra small to 3x. There's four photos. There's 63 comments made by people who have used the pattern. And there are 2,346 projects. So this thing has been used 2,346 times. That gives you an indication. Hey, this is a good pattern. If it's been made that many times, it, by now... All the mistakes, if there had been any, had been updated, it had been sorted out, and this is a safe one to go for. Now, this is what you do. You can say, remember and compare. And you see that little star that comes up? Right. Look here at the right hand in the bottom corner. It says that I've got one star pattern. All right. Now I can continue browsing. And I can, I'm, I'm not thinking about it. I'm not really looking at, is this the style that I like? Is this, um, is there short rows? Is it set in sleeves? None of that. I am just, I've set the minimum filters and now I'll just go through and see what I like. I like this one with this little bit of detail. So I'm going to star that one as well. Remember and compare. And you will see that now I've got 
two stars here. Okay, let's add a few more just to give you um, a good experience of this entire process that I go through. And I can do this for hours. I can get lost in revelry and totally forget to eat. And I, 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm not joking. I forget to go pee as well. I will just sit here and browse patterns until the day is over. Because it's just so inspirational for me. Now you will notice that I did not specify I only want free patterns. The reason for that is I prefer to pay for a pattern. Um, the reason for that is I'm a designer myself, although I design mostly crochet. Crochet is my job and knitting is my sanity. Oh, I like this one. Hmm. And um, I know that for a pattern to get to this point, being published, being available, there's been blood, sweat and tears and a hell of a lot of work. And I prefer to pay because I know what it feels like. I, I'm a designer myself and I love paying for a pattern because I feel that I'm supporting somebody else. Oh, when I'm in the mood for cables, this one is very pretty. I'm not always in the mood for cables, but when I do, hmm, 42 projects only. I wonder. Let's think about it. We will think and compare. We will decide later on. This one is very, very positive ease. Can you see? It's very loose fitting. I don't like that. Not at all. That's too much for me. You might feel different. Oh, I like this one for a man. Okay. We are going to start this one as well. I'll show you later why. Oh, that's pretty as well. Very, very pretty. Hmm. Let's remember and compare. This is also a nice one. It's got a saddle shoulder, it seems. Uh, let's remember and compare. Okay, I think that's enough to work with to get the idea across. Okay, now when you've spent some time and you've got a lot like that, click on the star here in the bottom and you will see the patterns that you've selected they've been put here now for you to really go into detail and look at them okay so we can take a quick look again and um, you will see that it doesn't give you the yarn that was used it doesn't give you the needle sizes for that you will have to really open the pattern to see so i can either click on now and open that specific pattern okay let's see you see, it picked it up because it was a four and a half needle was listed in the pattern, but it is also a five and a half. So from experience, I know that this one will probably, the four and a half will be used for the ribbing and the bulk of the jersey will be knitted with a five and a half. I don't like that. So let me go back to the previous page. I don't want to knit with a five and a half, not at all. So, um, I'm going to say, no, no, not that. Uh, stop remembering this one. And you will see the star has disappeared, but it's still there. So I'm ignoring that one now. Alternatively, you can right click and say, open the link in a new tab. And you will see here at the top that the new tab opens and I can go look at it. Okay, this is more my style. This is fingering ways. I love fingering. Okay, let's look. This is a ballet neck. Ah, it's cropped. Cropped is fine. It's got a drop sleeve. Uh, I don't like that necessarily. Um, it is worked top down seamlessly, so that's not bad. Interesting how they've done it. I'm curious to know how they did it top down without a seam on the shoulder. But anyway, it's a boxy shape. I'm not uh, much into boxy. I don't like it. I'm very short and a boxy makes me look very funny. I look like a toffee apple on a stick. So this one as well, I'm going to chuck out and say, uh, uh not for me. Okay, let's have a look at this one. This is fingering three and a half. Yeah, that's right up my alley. Let's see, adult, A-line, so there's some shaping here, which is nice. Chart, there's, it's charted. 
I didn't specify that I want only written patterns. So, oh, it's charted and written, so I'm cool with that. Fitted in the round, no ease. I like that. It's one piece. Mm, petite plus, yeah, positive ease, no ease. This is a little bit conflicting. So, oh, I see what she's done. This top part has got no ease. It's tight fitting around the bust, but because it flares at the bottom, there's a little part of a little bit of positive ease around the hips okay it's seamless it's top down it's got a v-neck it's got a waist i'm quite happy with this so i like this okay oh and there's six options for shaping hmm that i really like i think i might just keep this one for future use okay so this is what happens now save in favorites i click the little heart and it gives me an option. I have got two bundles set up already. The one is Abigail, which is my granddaughter, which is going to be born today. We are sitting, waiting for the mother to go to the midwife. Um, her contractions at this point in time is five minutes apart. So by the time you see this video, hopefully she would have been born. So, And I've got a bundle for me. I'm going to put it in the bundle for me. And I go down and I say save changes. Great. Now I can go back to the previous page with the collection that I've had there. And you will see that immediately there's a little heart there. It shows that, okay, that one I have favorite. Right. Let's take a look at the men's one. This is Wurstet. Wurstet. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. Hmm. Okay, my husband will look beautiful in this one. So let me put this one in the favorites. But I don't want to put it for me. It's for him. So I add a new bundle. And I say, this one is for my husband dress. Create the bundle. And it will be placed in that bundle. And I save changes. Okay, let's go back. And we look at one more. You will see that that one is now also in the favorites. Let's take a quick look at these these last three. Because if I close this down, I might lose them. And I really don't want to. Okay, let's look at this one. Um, this is fingering and lace held together to make a sport yarn. Hmm. Just think of the nice marbling effect you can do with this. Oh, I really like this one. It's beautiful. Um, needle size is right. So I'm going to save this in my favorites for myself. For me. Save changes. Let's go back. I really like this one as well. It's a five millimeter. Mm, I don't like a five. It makes my hands tired. So that one I'm just going to throw out and say, no, I'm not concerned about that one. Let's take this one out. This one is also very nice with the detail. Um, it's sport yarn. Hmm, not bad at all. Oh, if you purchase five patterns, you will automatically receive the least expensive for free. Very nice. I'm going to put that one in my favorites as well. Okay. So next time you come into Ravelry and you open your Ravelry page, that is the home page that you will land on if you sign in. And here on the right hand side, you will see my notebook. You will not see Pro. Pro is for the designers that publish patterns so that you won't see, but you will see my notebook. And in your notebook, you can scroll down and go to favorites. And now you can see there's the bundles. Let's see what I have in my bundle. You know what? I cleared my bundle out, what, three weeks ago, and now there's 20 again. <laughs> So that just shows you the rabbit hole of Ravelry. Now I can um, look at them. I can say, you know what? This one doesn't appeal to me today. I thought it was great, but it's not great. So let me take this one out if I wanted to, but I don't. 
Um, let's look at this one. This is probably one that I won't make because it's an open cardigan, I think. Yeah, it's open. Um, this is a cardigan. So if I no longer want it, I can remove it from my favorites. Uh, let me just go back there. Um, I can say edit or I can just say if I want to edit it, I can move it from one bundle to the other. It is at the moment, it's in the bundle for me. There you can see it. I can say, no, it's in the wrong bundle. It should be in Fordries or Abigail. And that is not what I want to do, but I'm just showing it to you. So I can change the bundle there. And then I can save the changes. Or I can just, um, if I just, let me get out of there. If I hover over it, it's got a little trash can. And I can say, Remove this item from your bundle, yes, delete it, and then it will disappear. It's no longer in my favorites. So when you are tired, go look for patterns that you would like to make in the future and place them in different bundles in your favorites folder so that you can find them next time when you come back and you want to cast on a new project. I hope this helps you.